Hey, greetings, Pastor McDowell here. I want to welcome you all to uh, your life group today and hope that you all have a great time in the word. Uh, it is a great lesson today. I ministered from uh, the book of Jonah, uh, chapter number one on this past Sunday, and, and we dealt with one another uh, part two on how Jonah was given some specific instructions, but the Bible clearly says he ran in the opposite direction. And, and point number one really uh, spells that out when it says, uh, don't you remember uh, what God told you to do? And we all remember that small voice when God spoke to us and told us what we're to do. And we ran in the opposite direction because Jonah had to go to a place called Nineveh to minister the Assyrians, to get them to repent and to turn around. How many got some friends and some family members that you know need to turn around and go the other way? Listen, have a great time in that lesson today. You'll be blessed. You'll be encouraged. Don't forget, we want you to continue to invite somebody to your life group, amen, that they might receive what you are receiving. Also, uh, we are in the process of producing our mission teams and our evangelistic teams out of our life groups where we're going to be reaching uh, people through door hangers and through the gospel. And we're going to be doing some mission activities in our various city of Elk Grove and the Sacramento County. Listen, a couple of quick announcements. Don't forget, uh, May is our school supply drive. So I'm asking you right now, uh, after this group, or you know, go visit your friends, your coworkers, neighbors, loved ones, and ask them to give some school supplies. And I would look like for everyone to bring some school supplies to service this Sunday that we can be a blessing to the various schools that we're going to be touching in the Sacramento County and the Elk Grove area. Also, don't forget about our June 29th Santa Cruz trip. Uh, it's closely approaching. We want everybody to go. We had a great time with it last year, and we're anticipating what God is going to do uh, with us and through us this year as we fellowship one to another. Yeah, invite your friends, family, invite everybody to come uh, see Minister Glory for more information about that. And uh, we're definitely anticipating that great event. Also, I, I want to bring to mind that there is a, a, a meeting coming up, uh, a leadership staff meeting. Uh, so those that get a text from me or those that get some type of uh, memo from me, please uh, be obedient uh, to that message. It's very, very important. Uh, it's all about vision, baby. Say vision, somebody. It's all about vision. God is doing some great things in our midst. And, and we must stay uh, connected to what God is doing in our region and in our church and in our families and in our city. Yeah, you say, man, listen, have a great time in your life group on the day. Yeah, I think I'm going to change it uh, to life group. I think life group really speaks to me because when we go to our life groups, we're really speaking life into one another. We're actually encouraging one another and we're actually building each other up. Listen, before I get away from you, don't forget, invite somebody to service this Sunday. There's a great word coming forth. We're going to deal with one another again, part three, one another, part three, because, you know, let's just face it, in the body of Christ, we've got to learn how to do one another without any favoritism without any respect to person, just love people right where they are. Don't, don't you remember when Jesus loved you right where you were? He had no hidden agenda. He had no expectation. He, he just loved you right where you were. And he took you and me in his arms and built us up. That's what we're called to do. And I got a question from many believers, including you there in the life group on the day. Who are you discipling? Who are you making better since they came to Jesus Christ? Listen, let that marinate on you. Think about it as you go throughout your evening and your day after your life group. Listen, love you. Look forward to seeing your face in the place on this Sunday. Again, one another, part number three, invite a friend, family, loved one. You won't be disappointed. Oh, before I go, you that are not connected to a life group. You need to get connected. You need to get connected. You need to get connected. The Bible clearly says, study to show thyself approved, that a workman be not ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. You need to get connected to a life group if you're not connected. Amen. Yes, that's you need to get connected. 
How else can you grow in God's word if you don't go to where the word is? God bless you. God keep you is my prayer. Have a great time in the life group. I'll see you on Sunday morning. God bless you. Take care.